To St. Mary now, we are thanksgiving ceremony for the life of the late former Southeast St. Mary MP. Dr. Winston Green was held yesterday, but people are also talking not just about the departed MP, but hinting at a by-election to come. TVJ's Shamela Mitchell reports. A packed congregation at the Bethel United Church in St. Mary Wednesday as family, friends and politicians on both sides of the fence gathered for the memorial service of the late Dr. Winston Lloyd Green. But those who came to remember him seemed to be thinking as much of his successor and the by-election to come as the late former MP. The Jamaica Labour Party chairman, Robert Montague, alluded to it when he came to remember the man who represented a seat in the parish as he. Dr. Green is a part of a small group of members of parliament to represent the greatest parish that God has created. So the man is left to Dr. Guy and myself. And soon, and very soon, another doctor will feel the truth. Laughter because the by-election to come is a battle of two doctors, Dr. Shane Alexis of the PNP and the GLP's Dr. Norman Dunn. Mr. Montague joked that the PNP could have considered another candidate. As I heard the former Custis speaking about some things to be done in Southeast America, I wondered why he was not chosen to be the candidate. For the PNP people who came to see of their former standard bearer in Southeast St. Mary, two thoughts about his replacement. To the looks, but does it look deceiving, but we are watch it. We have a good candidate, a very, very good candidate, and we are going to work with him to ensure victory for the People's National Party and for Dr. Green. One person recommended Damien Crawford. I think um, Mr. Crawford would be good, but he has his business doing, so he said that um, he won't be available. The impending by-election will be closely watched, given the fact that just five votes separated the late Dr. Green and Dr. Norman Dunn last general election. It would also be the first by-election under new PNP president, who, by the way, was there. And in his electoral service, I don't want anyone to sell him short. He took a constituency which had been lost and he did the work and won it. And when the swing moved in the other direction, he did the work and kept it. If the GLP wins, it would increase its parliamentary majority to 33 from the current 32, a one-seat margin. Shamala Mitchell, TVJ News.